Continuing our discussion about trend change signals, we want to take a look at tail candles. Tail candles can be a great indicator of a market that is making a trend change. When you see a tail candle, it's an indicator. It's the market tipping us off to a trend change. We talked about doji candles and a doji candle can also be a tail candle and vice versa. So they are interchangeable. When we're looking for tail candles, we look for something relatively specific. Now remember, in a candle, we have the body of the candle and we have the tail or the wick of the candle. When identifying a tail candle, we need the body of the candle to be in the upper or lower third of the candle, for example. So in a market that would be making a low, such as this one here, we're looking to have the body of the candle in the upper third portion of the total. There's your body in the upper third and a tail candle below. This is a good indicator of a market that is making a trend change. Just like everything else, we don't use these alone without other technical factors present on the charts. In order to increase our probabilities of a trend change, we want to be into an area of support, we want to have a proper candle count, for example. The more items we can identify that all point to the same thing, the better off we are, the more we increase our odds, the more we increase our probabilities of being correct. So while this candle also can be considered one of my pseudo doji candles, it's also considered a tail candle and you can see what happened. The market did reverse and traded in the upward direction. Here's another example. Here's a tail candle with the body of the candle, at least in the upper third of the candle, into the 200 period moving average signified by the black line running underneath the tail. That would be an area of support. And this is a longer tail signifying the probability of a trend change. Now what's really happening here and what produces the tail candle are buyers and sellers. And what's happening is you can see that intra candle and this is a 10 minute candle. So within this 10 minute span earlier in the candle, the market was trading lower than where it finished. But by the end of the candle, the market traded higher and closed towards the upper portion of the candle, signifying that the buyers are winning the battle and the buyers are forcing a trend change in the market there's more buyers than sellers, which pushes the price higher. On the flip side, we can take a look at a tail candle that signified the exact opposite where the sellers were winning the battle. Here, the market was going higher, but yet it stalled out and changed directions and traders can get the tip off from the fact that there was a tail candle, which means intra candle within this 10 minute span, the sellers won the battle, sending the market in the other direction. So when you see a tail candle like this, it's a good indicator of a trend change. However, we are going to use these indicators along with some of the other indicators that we have. And again, the more indicators you have telling you that something is going to happen, the better your probabilities, the more the odds are in your favor. So when you have areas on the chart where you feel there's support or resistance, and we'll get into that in subsequent lessons, and you have a tail candle at one of those levels, that would be a good indicator that the trend is changing. And keep in mind, sometimes you'll have a tail candle and you just don't have another factor on the charts telling you that there's a trend change at hand, only the tail candle, you may or may not want to take that trade because if that's the only thing on the chart that you can see without any additional factors, it may not be the highest probability trade on the board and therefore you may just want to take a pass. And that's important in trading. When we have multiple items on the chart telling us the same thing, that there's a probability of a trend change, that's one thing. But when you only have one thing telling you something is probably going to happen, that may not be the best trade to take and therefore sometimes the best trade is no trade. Here's another example using a 60 minute chart where you can see a tail candle into the 200 period moving average 
that would be an indicator of a trend change. Intra candle within this 60 minute span of time, the market traded lower, it traded into the 200 period moving average, and it reversed, finishing close to the high of the candle, creating the tail candle, and giving you an indication that a trend change was at hand. Staying with the 60 minute chart, Here's another example. The market traded down, reversed within this 60 minute span of time, finishing near the top of the candle. The body of the candle is in the upper third of the candle, creating a nice tail candle, giving you an indication of a trend change. Another very important thing to note about these tail candles and how the market acts and reacts is what happens in the next candle or even two candles. As you can see here, even though the tail candle signifies a trend change at hand, the following candle, and in this case two candles, came down about halfway to the old candle low, the tail candle low. That's called a retracement. You'll find that a lot. And it's also designed to fake out traders what happens is once the tail candle closed the following candle retraced a portion of the move you'll generally find retracements will come down about 50% of the tail candle it's really designed to make traders think they're wrong if they entered the trade after the tail candle closed inexperienced traders will think they're wrong they exit the trade and then the market reverses. Retracements happen a lot and the safe trade to make after a tail candle is to wait for the retrace. So instead of entering a trade right at the close of the candle here, the more prudent and safe thing to do is enter the trade on the retracement of the tail candle, which minimizes your risk. Why? Because if you enter the trade on the retracement, right about here, you have something closer by to trade against. You're trading against the tail candle low, which means if any candle closes below the tail candle low, you move out of the trade, that's when you know you're wrong and the market is no longer prone to go higher. So entering a trade where the arrow is, I know that my stop out would be any close below the low of that tail candle. That's how the pros do it. The amateurs would enter at the close of the original tail candle and generally get whipped out of the trade on the retracement. Don't get whipped out of the trade on a retracement. Not only are we trying to put the odds and the probabilities in our favor, but we're also trying to give ourselves the lowest possible risk with the highest possible reward. Tail candles are a fabulous way to identify a trend change at hand.